This is the next in a series on iterative solutions of equations using PK Solver. This session will cover the use of a root finder from the TK Solver library to automate the uh, iterative task. Here we have a mathematical model involving friction loss in a straight pipe. Uh, iterative calculation is required to solve for the friction factor and subsequent pressure drop. We have the equation shown here. You can see that the variable f appears on both sides of the equal sign. That particular equation then is going to require iteration to solve. To see this, uh, we can solve, and it does solve that. And, and right now we have a first guess on the variable subsheet uh, for variable f, and the iterative solver is used. In many cases, it's nice to have the iterative solver uh, available for other tasks, back solving uh, other problems, if we're going to be repeatedly working with this mathematical model. So in this situation, you could uh, use a root finder from the TK library to do the iterative solving, freeing the iterative solver itself for other tasks later on. What we would do to uh, uh, see how this would be set up is uh, start by making our guess variable an input. And when we solve, we get an inconsistent message, and TK points at the inconsistent rule. We edit in an error term, and we see that when we do that, TK solves and gives us the value of the error. As we make changes to the friction factor, we see that the error term changes. So the purpose of the uh, iterative solution is going to be to continue changing the value of f until the error gets close enough to zero or within a, a tolerance. What we can do is create an objective function, and I'm just going to copy that equation involving the uh, uh, inconsistent rule, and we'll create a function here, and I'll just call it uh, f. It'll be a rule function. The rule function will contain that single equation. That's all that's needed uh, for solving this. The argument variable is the variable f, and the result variable is the variable error. So as we um, change f, error will change. Now some other variables are included in the equation as well, and those need to be available when this equation is solved. We can declare those as parameter variables, and they'll come directly from the variable sheet. That would include the variable eps, d, and NRE. So if those three variables are available and a value of f is passed in, error will be calculated. Next we need a uh, root finder from the TK library. So we go out to the Applications menu, select TK Solver Library, and we see that in the Mathematics section, Roots of Equations, Tools, we can find Newton N. Newton N does uh, Newton's method for finding the root of a function of one variable. Uh, uses numeric differentiation. Select that, merge, and now we will see on our function sheet we have a, a function now called Newton N. It's a procedure. We'll open this up. Newton N needs four inputs and returns one output. The nomenclature is shown below here. The first argument is the name of the function, the objective function, that returns an error term. The second is the initial guess. The third is a differentiation increment. It should be relatively small. Compared to the uh, guess values, the uh, uh, typical value on that would be approximately 0.1% of the order of magnitude of the uh, value you expect to see. What you're uh, inputting there is a relatively small value between which a slope can be computed. So it's the slope at the guess value. 
and epsilon eps here is the tolerance for uh, reaching a solution. The result of this uh, will be the solution, the value of, in this case, f, um, that returns that. Now, what makes this work? TK Solver has a built-in function called apply. And so what it does is it repeatedly, inside this loop, repeatedly applies the objective function using the value of x. And it keeps changing that value of x uh, until the solution uh, is close enough to within the tolerance value. All right, so four inputs are required for Newton n. We'll go to the rule sheet now, and we'll make a rule that says f equal Newton n apostrophe f, that's the reference to the objective function, the initial guess, a relatively small uh, increment, and a tolerance. So we want the error, uh, relative error to get below 10 to the minus 8. All right, next we uh, added our rules here to remove that error term. We don't need that anymore. We remove the input for f because that's going to now be an output. And we no longer need the default first guess on the variable subsheet. Remove that. This model is now uh, ready to solve using the uh, Newton's method. When we solve, we see the solution here is 0 0.006412. We get that solution. Newton's method uh, is very uh, handy. You can uh, use it within loops in procedure functions to generate uh, plots of solutions, each of which might require a um, uh, iterative calculation. And that will be the subject of our next session.